colleagues and friends, and master of toasts. Thank you for coming. It gives me great joy to welcome you here to London's Savoy. We haven't stopped there. We will be also be opening uh, with a completely refurbishment in December. Hakura Hora, another 100 room hotel with a private island. The first hotel to open after the deadly attacks, the East attacks in April, in December first week. Jacob Briggs Mock couldn't be with us to pick up his lifetime achievements award. <laughs> Jacob, in common with a lot of travel writers I know, has a limited knowledge of very little, <coughs> makes pointless, supercilious comments at any opportunity. <laughs> and loves lounging around in an entitled fashion across the leather furniture. I am, of course, contractually obliged, for the sake of balance, to mention that Jeremy Corbyn couldn't be here tonight to pick up his award. He's on a pre-election motivational tour. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's the sound that the train makes as it's bringing. Thank you very much. Welcome to the 41st edition of the British Guild of Travel Writers International Tourism Awards. The men award goes to the Bauhaus Museum Weimar. And please give a big hand for Dr. Anka Blue, Research Associate at the Museum. Mean something a hundred to two hundred years from now. So for me, it's impossible to separate community with long term conservation. Hilary Brands. Della Murphy is the real thing a writer who travels not just to see, but to understand. And what interests me about them is you moved more and more politically as, as you go on. Yes. Yeah, it's all <laughs> the lights are on. These awards are also special because they represent the top echelon of travel journalists, photographers, and digital storytellers. Our Members Excellence Awards are judged by editorial leaders in the world of travel and top industry specialists. superb writing and good use of video and imagery, a brilliant reading which keeps people wanting to come back post after post, and the BGTW Travel Blogger of the Year. Excitingly, the winner is Kirsty Pelling. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs>
things are going? Are you having a great BGTW Awards, mate? I, I enjoyed it, mate. I was a bit, I was a bit pissed off you didn't win. Uh, what, what happened there, Stu? I well, mean, how do you feel? Yeah, I do try my best. No, no, no. It's not it's nothing not to do with. Me. It's nothing to do with trying, is it? I mean, come on. I mean, let's be honest. It's I mean, let's, let's cut to the chase. Issues. Let's let's just cut to the chase now. I mean, it's, it's, it's not. It's me. not. It's not. It's not to do with trying, is it? I mean, it's at the end of the no. day, I write and I look at what. I think the desserts are right then. Oh yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I was distracted there. Sorry. What were you saying? Uh, so, uh, what's it like to feel like to to, to not win? Well, you know, such is life, isn't it? it? Goes on. Travel right into the back experience in the places. Yeah, it's not the first time you've not won though, is it? I mean, let's face it. Thanks very much for that. It's actually the third award this season. Hang on, they're lost. calling your name. Stuart Foster. Stuart Foster, will you take your seat? It's a revote. It's, it's a revote. Is it a revote? It is, it is a revote. There's a referendum on whether Stuart Foster should have won tonight's blogger of the year. I, I, I would have voted for. I've not read it actually. I would have voted for See, you. That's though. the problem. Not enough people are reading it. That's it. Go to goeeatdo.com and read that's it. Go eat, do Don't do feel bad com. about it, Stuart. Don't feel bad. 